सुप्रभातम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्लांट्स एंड मी दिस इज डॉक्टर श्रीदेवी फ्रॉम मंगलुरु कर्नाटका इंडिया टुडे आई वुड बी रिपोर्टिंग दिस ऑर्किड व्हिच इज अ ग्राउंड ऑर्किड कॉल्ड एज अरुंडिना ग्रामिनीफोलिया बिलोंग्स टू ऑर्किडेसी फैमिली इट्स अ ह्यूज प्लांट व्हिच इज अराउंड टू और थ्री इयर्स ओल्ड एंड actually it has become root bound and it has given many pups also and the, there is no uh, mud remaining in the pot so it become completely root bound so that is why i would be repotting it so before going into the repotting a little bit of introduction about this orchid usually orchids are believed to be epiphytes that is growing on the tree barks etc but this uh, ground orchid it's a ground orchid bamboo orchid also it is called as so this ground orchid requires a potting mix which we use for any plant in general usually for orchids we use uh, coconut chips then uh, pumice powder then coco peat etc pine bark all this we use but for this ground orchid all that is not necessary the normal potting soil that is mud is enough so we will start repotting it i'll have to pour water in the pot to loosen the soil and then i will pull out the soil uh, pull out the plant from the soil and then do some amendments in the soil use some new potting mix and then repot the plant that is ground orchid so this is my plant ground orchid or bamboo orchid it has got these beautiful flowers so this is a huge plant and if you see the potting mix is very less and it is completely root bound there are so many pups also in this this is a new pup and there are so many new pups coming here so i need to repot this plant there are a few weeds also so i'll first water this and make the soil loose and then remove this plant from this pot and then use a new potting mix so i'm watering this the soil has to become completely moist and it has to soak for some time otherwise it won't become loose so i'll have to wait for some time till this loosens so the potting mix has become very loose and actually with two hands i can remove with one hand i'm finding it difficult i'll just remove the plant so this is how the plant is completely root bound completely root bound actually when we got this plant i was in a hurry i just poked the plant into that pot i didn't put much potting soil also in that and later on i couldn't repot it and it started growing so i did not try to repot it if you observe the stem they look like bamboo so that is why it is called as bamboo orchid so i'll be preparing the potting mix for this plant so these are the components accidentally water fell in this so this is the normal potting mix 
brought from the nursery garden soil that is the sand to give it a well draining texture and that is the vermi compost so i am going to mix all this my aim would be to fill that pot it was hardly filling the potting mix which was earlier used it was hardly filling the pot so that is why my aim would be to fill the pot and then keep this bunch as it is orchids like to be root bound so if i disturb the roots it will take time for flowering again it is already flowering it has given so many flowers i don't want to disturb the roots i will not disturb the roots i will make, put this in the pot and then place that plant as it is so i have mixed this now i would like to add bone meal bone meal is one component which helps in flowering so for that much potting mix i am using two handfuls about 30 grams so i am mixing this nicely i feel vermi compost is little less so i will add a little more vermi compost this is a ready made vermi compost which i bought from the nursery it is a fortified vermi compost fortified with neem cake macro nutrients and micro nutrients etc so it's very nice in quality very powerful so now i am mixing this so our kids they are also heavy feeders and they are flowering plants so obviously they will be heavy feeding plants they like a lot of food material so yes this is okay now i will put this in the pot in the pot in which it was there earlier i am not changing the pot I'll fill this and get back. So now this is the level. I'll just keep this plant in the pot and check. So that level was perfect, and uh, I'm leaving this much place for watering. So there is a little place here. I'll fill this with, and this also with the. Uh, I'll remove all these weeds and fill this with a little more of potting mix. So after potting that, I will be keeping that pot in full sun spot. That means the plant will get minimum eight to ten hours of sunlight. It was kept near the well uh, of our house where it gets sunlight the whole day. i did not disturb the roots so the plant will not go into shock only thing is i increase the amount of potting mix in the pot that's it and i have made some amendments in the potting mix so the roots will new roots will develop they will go into the soil new soil and again the plant will grow it will give out new pups and it will give better flowering watering should be daily they are ground orchids so they require watering daily and uh, full sun for about 8 hours that is their requirement apart from that once the plant uses up all the vermi compost the level of the uh, soil will go down the plant will sink down again 
so that time I will again replenish the potting mix with vermicompost and bone meal so apart from this I would be spraying the plant with this inorganic high bloom this is potassium mainly for 1 liter 5 grams of that powder should be used this is mainly useful for orchids so apart from the vermicompost bone meal etc once in 15 days I would be spraying this high bloom to the plant so that will also aid in uh, the plant giving blooms so usually orchids do not bloom because of fertilization problem and uh, uh, this will help potassium will help in giving a larger number of flowers so that was the repotting of bamboo orchid thanks for joining take care bye